tuning in, sports fans only. See Anthony back with another video this Tuesday the 1st after the Terrence Crawford Errol Spence Jr. fight, which ended in dramatic fashion. Night round TKO stoppage for Terrence Bud Crawford. Doctors have urged Errol Spence to, um, to maybe retire. Think that he may have some brain damage. A lot of people, ringside observers who watched the fight, they all thought the same thing. Arrow didn't look the same. He looked a little sluggish, looked a little bit off balance on his feet. So as for now, we're going to give Terrence Crawford his props. And we're going to talk about the future of Terrence Crawford. I know that Arrow Spence called for the immediate rematch in December, but urging doctors if he don't fight, it'll be Jerron Ennis that'll be stepping in to take the claims over that fight right there. So I like to say Jerron Ennis versus Terrence Crawford. I think that's a good fight, but I don't think Jerron is actually ready to step up to the plate with Terrence Crawford yet. I think that he would maybe need like another warm-up fight, maybe a Danny Garcia, make a, maybe a Mikey Garcia, maybe even a Miracan. But Terrence Crawford has finished, I believe, his last 10 to 11 opponents. And I would, I would not doubt that Jerron Ennis may be the next one, the next casualty of Terrence Bud Crawford at 147. I will say also we have coming up the Charlo and Canelo fight. That fight is coming up in September. Right now, I'm leaning a little bit toward Canelo, but I'm standing strong with Charlo in this fight. I think that he has what it takes. I think he can dig deep. I think he has the power. I also think that he can hurt Canelo. Canelo has been a shell of himself, hasn't been the same. So we're going to keep it right there and keep an eye on that fight. A lot of interesting talk between Derrick James and Bo Mack. You know, um, I would say that Derrick James had to bite the bullet. Bo Mack showed and proved and did all the things that he did. And like he said, they had been there before, undisputed at 140. That 147 would be nothing. He actually got it done. And it's um, a, a bit shocking to the boxing world at what we witnessed. We watched Earl hit the canvas three to four times. I think it was once in the second round. A um, couple times in the ninth round, and the ref waved it off. I would like to say that I think that um should really listen to the doctor. He just didn't look the same. Anybody who's not even a doctor can look and see that he didn't look the same. Maybe it's some things with his car accident. Who knows? But I would like to say I think that he should just retire, take the money, and maybe build up fighters, do something, build your own stable, and, and stay in the boxing game. That way you won't be able to get into the ring with a Terrence Crawford. As of right now, Terrence Crawford, 40 and no, I believe with 30 or 31 knockouts. And he's gunning down the record of Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, 50 and no, 26 knockouts, 51% um, knockout ratio. Terrence Crawford way over with the knockouts, and I would say – um at his age, 35, I don't think that he can reach the 40 fights, but the 50 fights. But I think that he could um, he could put a dent and make his his era, the Floyd era, the Manny era, and then now I would say the Terrence Crawford era. M many people in boxing, including myself, thought it was going to be the Errol Spence Jr. era. Era, you know, um, the truth coming, punishment, all the things he had done to Cal Brook, to Mikey Garcia, to Danny Garcia, American, all that. Prove to um, not really matter so much once you step in the ring with somebody like Terrence Bud Crawford from Oklahoma, Nebraska. Shouts out to him, his team, his family, his mom. Her birthday was that Saturday, and I'd like to congratulate Terrence Crawford. And we'll stay tuned for more content right here back on Sports Fans Only. Peace.